Right, here's a quick tip how to open up your tripod. Undo all the pieces. Ready? Yeah. Right, we're talking today about opening up the chest. We want a power move in the golf swing. We always want a power move in the golf swing. Who wouldn't want a power move in a golf swing? We're talking today about trying to open the chest up. So if we can get the chest opened up towards target, we're going to get more power into the shot. That was really good. And it's all through body rotation. Once we start using our small muscles, once we focus more on hands and arms, we get a little bit yanky. Look at the video before. We need body to turn, so we want the large muscles to control the smaller muscles. So by swinging my body, I want my body to turn through and the club head to follow behind. I don't want to be pulling the club head ahead of my body. No, I don't want to do that. So for that to happen, we need to get this chest to open. So it's a really strange feeling, because the hands are the only point of contact with the golf club, and the golf club, so the hands contact the grip, the grip goes down the shaft, we all the way to the sweet spot. And that's how we feel. So we feel through our fingertips. The most sensitive part of our body is our fingertips. <laughs> Golf related. Um, and that makes sense to pull the hands down a little bit more to have more control or aware of where the club head is. It's very strange to move the body first and trying to control where this is or have an understanding of where this is. So there's a way back here and you turn your body, you kind of lose control of where that is. You've, you've lost connection with it, so that's why a lot of people do use their hands and arms in order to feel as though they have control of the club head. That's not going to get you power though. The power, as I've mentioned, comes from the chest opening up and turning through the shot. When I do video analysis, I see a lot of people down the line and they get into a position at impact, they come down they get to a position of impact where shoulders are more square to target. So hips have opened, shoulders are square to target They're in this position, which is fine. But that's yanked. If you watch guys on tour, guys on tour are from this position, where most of our amateurs are at, square shoulders, to a position where they've got the chest opened more to there. Okay? Face on this position, wrong, not wrong, but more hand orientated as opposed to body orientated. Whereas if I get there, you can see how more open my shoulders are. So my shoulders are pointing more towards camera, my chest pointing more towards camera than there. That does, a, that does something very, very important to your golf swing that we've talked about so much in the past. Okay, so what that does is when the body opens up in that fashion, at the correct time, body opening and chest to the sky, it leaves the club more behind you. So the club's going to be behind you because it's body driven. So the body's out the way and the club's behind you. You have to feel as though the chest moves faster than the hands. Once we start pulling the hands and making the hands go faster than the chest, that's where we've lost all our power. Power source is gone. We have to apologise to this camera angle's moved. My memory card just went, became full. We wee thing flashing on the screen saying memory card full, so I had to go and take some stuff off it. Never had that before. So body rotating, so chest turning and opening up. So turning and opening up. If we drive the swing with this motion, then the hands will stay behind. So the body turns and the chest opens up towards target. You can see how this club's now behind me. So this club's here. If I'm taking hands and arms first, and the hands and arms outride the body swing, then there, very different angle of the shaft, it has to come back in towards golf ball and there, so we're getting our slices and pulls. Whereas if I can get body driven, pivot driven, get the chest open and up to target, you can see the club stays behind me. There, that's where I want to be at impact. Very, very, very different than there.
chest opens up towards target. It feels to me, it feels as though the club is way behind me here, when my chest is open past square. When I say square, I mean past your ball to target line. So if I take my address position and then I turn my chest past it, so there's my address position. So my chest is, excuse me, my shoulders or chest are lined with this cane there, and I get back to that position there. I feel as, or past that, sorry, I feel as though my club now is out here somewhere. Okay? But if I continue turning and opening that chest up, it's going to throw the club down from more in to out path. So that's where the feeling of a loss of connection is, is the fact that the body is outriding the hands, which it's supposed to do, and the club feels those miles behind. It will catch up, it will hit the golf ball. It has to bottom out centrifugal forces or centripetal force pulling the club head out towards the golf ball. It's going to happen, you will make contact. Just trusting it. So there. Club's way behind me. Okay, bit of a healy one, trying to exaggerate it. That's golf, that's fine. This time, there. There, feeling that chest opening, getting past the golf ball and up towards the sky. Lovely. All these exaggerations are to make a feeling of what we do at impact. It won't be exactly, it won't be as extreme as that. But it trains the body into a motion that you're after. I mean, rehearsing the wrong move. I see it time and time again, guys at the range. Just practicing bad habits, bad habit, bad habit. Like 30 quid, 30 quid, 30 quid. There's money just standing there hitting balls. Just get a little bit of instruction, just get the right thing going. Practice the right habits. Got to get the body to <coughs> excuse me. Got to get the body to drive the golf swing. Hands and arms it gets a little bit feely. I see it a lot on uh, short game because that's more touch control that we're talking about there. But certainly getting the body to turn through chest to the sky to swing the golf club much more efficient. Harder to do though. That's the problem with golf. Anything efficient and anything right feels harder to do because it's away from the norm, but just persevere. Did you see my golf advert I made? It's up here. Subscribe, like.